Um, Batman 2. Brian, what's the latest on, on Matt Reeves' uh, sequel? So a little bit of a, you know, I can't hate on it because he's done everything right with his universe. A little bit of a bummer, though. It sounds like this thing is way out there. Um, the, the, the article I was talking about, Gunn and Saffron coming in, dropped a little nugget kind of saying this movie would not be showing up uh, until after 2025. Sort of implies full focus is on the Penguin right now. They just got a showrunner in on that Arkham series they want to do. It just feels like the Batman 2 is way, way, way off in the distance, which when we talk about alongside this Batfleck news is, yeah, it's just a little disappointing that we we have to wait that long. Like I, you know, you think like Batman Begins to Dark Knight was three years, Dark Knight to Dark Knight Rises was four years. Mm. So, you know, we're talking about pushing the bounds of that. If you're saying, hey, it's going to be at least 2026, that's already four years, you know? So I, I, I might have hoped for it a little bit sooner than that. Sure. That was a little disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. All I can, all, all, I mean, all we can do is speculate and, and hope that, um, that this movie that you're making us wait this long for lives up to our expectations because I'm certain we're going to be getting little leaks here and there about what sort of uh, who's going to be cast or who's going to, you know, little nuggets here and there about what's going on that people will start forming late in the, the, the storylines um, that we are probably going to be getting. I mean, you and I, Brian, have spoken about quarter bowels and that seems more like a likely scenario for us. It makes sense that that be the case, being that, you know, Bruce Wayne was a little bit of a letdown for most. And for, for, for Matt Reeves, I think, in order to develop that Bruce Wayne character, he ha that character has to sort of be Bruce Wayne to to sort of uh, assimilate himself into that world. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, it better be a hell of a performance, Brian. That's all I can say. I ain't mad at it, Brian. If you making if you making this way, okay, that means you're gonna give us something fantastic. Okay. But the hope for me is that you're um, shooting two films instead of just one at the same time so that we can, you know, move along because this, you know, this guy is not going to be however old he is for that long, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, let's see what happens there. Um. Anything else, Brian, before we sign off? Because DC is the state of DC is just looks like it's gonna get worse. Um, we had hoped with all the, the the moves that have happened in the last year or so that we would get some sort of uh rebound and talk more positively about the WB, but it seems that we're gonna be talking negatively for quite some time. Well, I mean, the last thing I'll just put in there is the, the little anecdote that, you know, Warner Brothers taking a lot of heat for being anti-representation in the shows they've cut, also in the hirings that they made. And, you know, I got to say, right, Saffron and Gunn look a lot like the people that are already in the room. Um, so you kind of have one type of voice in terms of that. And then you get the news that, well, the Ta-Nehisi Coates Superman's not totally dead. And now Green Lantern's a Jon Stewart only series. And, you know, Pablo, I got to look, I'm, I'm looking a little fish eyed at those news items, given the heat that WB's under for some of what it's done to its more diverse projects. And now all of a sudden, you know, they fire the Green Lantern showrunner. They had two other lanterns signed, fired both those guys who were white. And now we got John. Like I got John Stewart's a great character. I have no problem seeing you know John Stewart production, but the circumstances under which it's happening look a little bit conspicuous. Hey. I'm sure they're gonna want to ride the coattails of the success of Black Panther, man. 
that black character. You know, this this success, the success of Black Pan- Black Panther is gonna be. Listen, we got what. Um, even though it was kind of horrible, but um, what's that show on the WB? Black, Black Lightning. Lightning. Yeah, we got Black Lightning from there. What else? What you, we we got a few other black characters from there, but um, um, yeah, when well, Marvel had like you know Luke Cage obviously on the TV yeah, side, yeah, 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 so, yeah. a few, but but yeah, let's see what happens, man. A lot to look forward with regards to the news. Yeah, exactly. Not necessarily to the titles. <laughs> um. But yeah, the, the, a show that we want to definitely get into is how, what's what Superman are we expecting to see? Yeah, what's that's, what's that's the title? That's yeah, that's gonna be a very interesting. Conversation.